Good evening, and welcome to the 2021 Music Department Showcase Illuminate. My name is Lars Campbell. I'm the chair of the music department and uh, run with the instrumental ensembles. I'm happy to have you here with us tonight as we enjoy all the effort that the students put into making this great concert happen this evening virtually for you all through the airwaves. Uh, first up tonight, you're going to hear the jazz ensemble performing a Miles Davis composition called Deception. This is arranged by Jerry Mulligan, a great uh, baritone saxophonist. This is an extension of our fall term look into Boplicity off the same Birth of the Cool recording of Miles Davis. This first tune you're going to hear from special guest Dick Titterington and a trombone solo uh, by myself. And uh, most of the night you're going to get to hear the students, but we're uh, featuring a couple of guests on this first tune. Hope you enjoy Deception. Next up, you're going to hear the first selection from our wind ensemble. This is John Mackey's Hymn to a Blue Hour. The blue hour is said to be the lingering twilight that halos the sky after sunset, but before complete darkness sets in. This fits in really well with our theme of Illuminate tonight. You're going to hear sounds that uh, show that stillness, that calm as the sun, as the sun is setting. Also, these moments of great uh, power and beautiful big open sound uh, in John Mackey's work. This is him to a blue hour.
Hi, I'm Charlie Doggett, Director of Jazz Combos here at Clackamas Community College, and I'd like to take a brief moment to introduce this next piece, uh, which features our singer, Alyssa Domeneghini, um, our faculty jazz pianist, Clay Giverson, our faculty jazz bassist, Kevin Dietz, uh, and he recorded a guitar track on this piece as well, and uh, Tyrus Friedstrom on drums. Um, this is a jazz classic entitled Alone Together.
Hello, I'm David Tetmark, an adjunct guitar instructor here at Clackamas Community College and also the director of the Classical Guitar Ensemble. For our first two pieces tonight, we're going to be playing works by Bartolome Calatayud, who was a Spanish guitarist composer who wrote a variety of works for various levels of the guitar. He was also a student of the famous Francisco Tarrega, who is one of our most beloved composers for the guitar. The first piece is Romanza, followed by Valls. Enjoy. I'm lucky to have had the opportunity to perform, record, as well as hang out with the great Dave Frischberg, uh, jazz pianist and jazz lyricist. And um, whenever I listen to a record or hear someone play or perform myself one of uh, this next composer's songs, uh, I always think of something that Dave told me once that he considered this next composer to be possibly the greatest uh, jazz melodicist as a composer um, in the entire jazz idiom. So uh, big praise coming from Dave Frischberg and um, can't really disagree. This next piece features our alto saxophonist Keith Sprower as well as our faculty pianist Clegg Iverson, our faculty bassist Kevin Dietz, and our drummer Tyrus Friedstrom. This is a Horace Silver classic entitled Strollin.
My name is Jessica Israels, and I'm the director of the Chamber Choir. This first piece that we will be performing is called I Remember by the contemporary Canadian composer Sarah Cortell. It's written in the folk song tradition with a gentle flowing accompaniment and a beautiful lyric melody with text that is a reflection of the wonder of nature and the important people in our lives that share that wonder. Next up, we're going to hear back from the Wind Ensemble. We're going to be performing a work by Brian Balmages. Uh, this piece, not written with a programmatic intent, but you will find yourself feeling like you're hearing some film scoring. It's great, uh, beautiful writing, big 
aggressive woodwind chords, lots of percussion, uh, strong brass in the center. Uh, it opens with a section of fast material that's driven by snare drum and has a beautiful uh, melancholy middle that I think you're going to really enjoy. Uh, this is Brian Balmage's piece, Raging Machines.
Next up, we're going to hear from the Jazz Ensemble again. This is a Stan Kenton arrangement of a beautiful tune called Street of Dreams. It's a ballad that features alto saxophonist Keith Sprower. Keith actually brought this piece and asked if this was something we might be able to perform this term. Uh, it's got some great music in it. I think it's really fantastic. Um, starts out with beautiful trombone section melody that's so reminiscent of Kenton's time. Uh, that you'll hear Mimi Goldbeck in that trombone section and then uh, Keith Sprower with the alto saxophone solo. Enjoy Street of Dreams. For our next piece, the guitar ensemble will perform Winter Night by our very own Justin Karkner. Special thanks to Justin for preparing this piece for the group.
For their final piece, the guitar ensemble will perform The Sound of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel. This famous piece works so well for a guitar quartet and was arranged by Dan Jones. We hope you enjoy it as much as we did. Here's a song that I think you'll recognize. This is uh, composed by Jesse Harris, made famous by Nora Jones on her debut studio album entitled Come Away With Me. Uh, this song features Alyssa Dominaghini on vocals, faculty pianist Clay Iverson, uh, faculty bassist Kevin Dietz, who um, also recorded a guitar track on this one. Um, Tyrus Friedstrom on drums, and I believe there's some string uh, synth pads laid down by our faculty audio engineer, Brian Rose. Enjoy. This is Don't Know Why. I saw the break 
break of day I wish that I could fly away Instead of kneeling in the sand Catching teardrops in my hand selection is going to be Pavel Chesnikov's Salvation is Created. It's originally a choral work that's been transcribed for band that really highlights the beautiful playing, beautiful tone of the wind ensemble. Uh, something we've enjoyed getting to know, uh, especially in this time where we're playing remotely. It's challenging to find ways to play music that moves in tempo. And so that's been something we've been experimenting with in this piece. Uh, beautiful melody, Pavel Chesnikov, Salvation is Created.
Next up from the Jazz Ensemble is a Chris Cheek composition called So It Seems, arranged by the great New York City trombonist Alan Ferber. Alan's writing something that I really admire. He's got great use of color, and this is uh, no exception to that. Uh, you'll find a jaunty, angular saxophone melody that's passed between all of our saxophonists at various moments. Uh, and you'll have solos on this featuring Nick Boatman on guitar and Mason Hutz on baritone saxophone. I hope you enjoy. So it seems. Hmm. 
Classic by Antonio Carlos Jobim. Uh, it's entitled Corcovado, also known as Quiet Nights, Quiet Stars. And this features our alto saxophonist Keith Sprower, uh, our faculty jazz pianist Clay Giverson, our faculty bassist Kevin Dietz, uh, and our drummer Tyrus Friedstrom. Enjoy!
For our final piece, the chamber choir is going to be joined by the jazz band in an inspiring arrangement of the song, I Sing Because I'm Happy. This song has been adapted from the gospel hymn, His Eyes on the Sparrow, by the choral composer Rollo Dilworth, who's well known for his arrangements of spirituals. I am fortunate to have a father who is also a wonderful jazz musician, and we commissioned him to write the jazz band portion of this song. We've really enjoyed collaborating on this, and we hope you enjoy it as much as we do. pieces that didn't fit into our length of time tonight that are great. Uh, we'd love for you to see that. If you follow us on your Facebook page, Clackamas Community College Music Department, you'll be able to find those there. And we'd love to stay engaged with you however we can. Uh, and we hope you'll join us again in spring for our next installment of this 
Spotlight of our students. Thanks very much. Good night.